This cat ear ski mask is super cute and so easy to make. It's a very beginner friendly project. We don't even need to do any increase or decrease. We're just working around from the bottom up. We need to create a hole here, obviously, and then shape the ears, and then that's it. This pattern is also made to measure, so you can make it in your own size. I will explain what is what throughout the video. There is one thing that's a little bit different. That is the seam at the back. I did something a bit different at the beginning of some of the rounds to make the seam straight. If you just work normally in the round, your seam will end up slanted. The yarn I used, I don't have any more to show you, but it is an A-ply yarn, which is equivalent to weight 3. The yarn calls for a 4mm crochet hook, but I sized up to a 5mm. You will also need a yarn needle to weave in the ends, scissors to cut yarn, and you will also need a stitch marker. Also, I used 83 grams of yarn for this. Okay, I'm gonna make a slip knot and then make a chain that is the circumference of your head. So it's this one. So how many chains you need to do depends on um, the yarn you use, how thick it is, and your head circumference. You already know my yarn is weight 3, and my head circumference is about 21.5 inches. As this covers your whole face, you need to make sure your whole head can fit through it, especially around your cheekbones. And just for reference, I did 66 stitches. Okay, so after this chain, I'm gonna join it in the round, making sure the chain is not twisted. So like that. And then I'll insert in this very first stitch, this one. And then grab my yarn, make a slip stitch. Okay, so now we're going to crochet in the round. So you're gonna chain one first. In this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into, I'm gonna make a half double crochet. I usually like to work in the back loop. That makes the edges like this. Personally, I think it looks better, but it's up to you. If you want to work in this loop, you can do that as well. To make a half double crochet, yarn over and insert your hook. Either like this, or like me, I'll turn this chain to the back. So find the first stitch and then turn to the back. That is the back loop, this one. So I insert my hook there. Pull up a loop. And then Yarn over and pull through all three to make a half double crochet. You can mark this stitch. This is the very first stitch. Okay, so that's the stitch we're going to use for the whole pattern. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Again, I'm going to insert in the back loop here. Insert my hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through, three. And then I'll just continue doing this. Yarn over, insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through, three. Okay, so do this all the way to the very last stitch. If you're not sure which one is the last one, you can always count your stitches starting from this one. This is number one, and this should be number 66. Now we're going to join in the round in this very first stitch. Again, make sure your row is not twisted. 
So I'm going to insert my hook in the top two loops of the first stitch and make a slip stitch. Chain 1 to begin row 2. Now, if we just repeat this row working from the very first stitch every round, our seam at the back is going to be slanted. It's going to be like that. So what I did here to fix it a little bit, it's still not completely straight, but it definitely looks better than if you just do your rounds normally. So what I did here was to simply put I started from the second stitch every other round. So what I mean is this. The first round I started from the first chain, the first stitch, and the second round I'm going to start from the second stitch. That's the first stitch we just slip stitched in. So I'm going to start from this stitch, yarn over, and make my half double crochet. And I'm going to work one half double crochet in each stitch. I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, now you can see that's the last stitch, the last half double crochet. And that's actually the chain one. So that's a stitch. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch. That's the other stitch. So remember we skipped the very first stitch. If I join in the round here, I will decrease one stitch. You can actually tell that stitch is in this one and that stitch is in this one. But here, nothing is in this stitch. We're missing one stitch. So what I do here is just work in the very next loop. This is actually the slip stitch we did before. But anyways, I'm going to insert my hook in here and work my last half double crochet here. And again, if you're not sure you can count your stitches, that should be number one and that's number 66 for me. And then I'm gonna slip stitch in the very first stitch to finish this round. And like I said before, I do this every other round. So round three, round three, I'm gonna start from the very first stitch. So round three, starting from the very first stitch, and your last stitch should be here, right? So that stitch is in this, and that's a chain one, not a stitch. Your last half double crochet should be worked in here. So I didn't work all the way around, but I just want to show you again what to do next. So this round was starting from the very first stitch, so you finish this round as usual. slip stitch and next round you will chain one and that's the first stitch you're going to work in the second stitch here and then when you come back around um, because we didn't work anything in the first stitch i'm going to work one stitch in the slip stitch if you can't tell or if you don't remember if you started from the first stitch or the second stitch, you can always look at the stitches just around here. So that's worked in here and that's worked in here. The chain one doesn't count and that's one stitch there. So we're missing one stitch here. So in the slip stitch, work one more stitch. And then you join to the first stitch and then you just continue repeating these two rounds. So now this is 7 inches and I've got 20 rows here. So this is the length from your shoulder or just below your neck to just a little bit above your nose tip. Depends on how long you want it to be, but this you can adjust it. Here we're going to begin making the hole for the eyes. So this join will be the center back and that means the hole will be somewhere here. Ignore the stitch markers. I'm going to leave about 7 inches and that's going to be the width of the hole. So first I need to find out how many stitches is 7 inches. 
my 7 inches is 23 stitches. But my stitch number 66 is an even number, so I need to round it up to 24. So the stitches will be at the center of the round. So now I need to mark out the 24 stitches at the center. So minus the center 24 stitches, I have 42 stitches left. I need to divide them evenly. So divide them by 2 is 21. So I counted 21 stitches from the beginning of the round and 21 stitches from the end of the round. Okay, now I've got my 24 stitches. The stitch marker is before the first stitch and after the 24th stitch. So now I'm going to continue working my next round and I'll see you at this first stitch marker here. In this stitch marker, we're going to make a half double crochet as well. And then we're going to make a chain and I want to maintain the same stitch number. So the stitch number I skipped here is how many stitches that I need to chain here. So I skipped 24. That means I need to chain 24 chains. And make sure you don't make your chain too tight because this part is going to be the part that's sitting on your nose. So that's 24 chains and then the next stitch, I'm going to work in this marked stitch. We're going to make a half double crochet. So first of all, make sure this chain is not twisted. And then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, and make a half double crochet in this. And then from here, you can work normal, slip stitch here, and then begin your next round. I want to show you how to work in this chain. Okay, so the first chain is here. We have two top loops. I'm going to insert in this one, this. And I'm going to continue making half double crochets. One half double crochet in each chain. After that, make your half double crochets as usual, and then you just continue working your way up. We're still going to skip the first stitch every other round to offset the slanted join. So now here I worked 16 rounds, and it measures 6 inches. So this is to the top of your head where you make the edges meet like that. So at the back, I slip stitched to the first stitch and now I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn. Now I'm going to seal up the top. So now I need to find the center stitch, the center of this. I have 24 stitches, so these two is the center and I need to find the stitch that lines up with this. So just roughly it's this one. I'm gonna mark it. Okay so now I need to sew it up from this end to this. So I need to make sure I have the same stitch number here and here. So I'm just counting the same number of stitches from this end. Roughly that is the center at the back. So the stitches I have is like this. This is 32 stitches and that's 32 stitches as well. And one stitch here, one stitch here, which are marked. So together that's 66 stitches. So these two marked stitches will be sewed together. From here, I'm going to line up my stitches.
Okay, this and this will be sewed together. So I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to mark these two stitches because um, if you're going to use your hook like me, we need to do it from the wrong side. But if you are using a yarn needle, with a yarn needle, you can do whip stitch from the right side. But I'm going to use my hook here. So I'm going to mark my stitches and turn it inside out. Find my two marked stitches. Insert my hook in these stitches like that. And then attach the yarn. And then I'm going to insert in the next stitches, one on this side and the other one over there. And then I'm going to make a slip knot. You can choose to carry this yarn as well in your stitches. But since we're making slip stitches, we can't just always put this tail on the hook. We do that every other stitch. So the next stitch, insert your hook. And then this stitch, I'm going to put it under my hook. And then slip stitch. Next stitch of both edges. For this one, you put your yarn on the hook. And then you're just going to Continue making your slip stitches and carry the short end like that. And I'll see you at the end of the row. And because I have an even number of stitches, I should have two stitches left. I'll just insert in those two stitches, slip stitch, and then fasten off. Next, we're going to shape the ears. So turn the balaclava to the right side and then put it on. And then use four stitch markers to mark out where you want your ears to be. After that, you can even out the stitch markers to make the ears symmetrical. Roughly, I placed my stitch markers in the eighth row down from the corner. And then the top stitch markers is 11 stitches from the corner. Okay, so to shape the ear, you're going to first attach your yarn to one of the stitch markers. For this ear I attached here, for this one I'm going to do it here. Okay, you tie a few knots, leave some length, and then just cut this yarn. Okay, so basically I'm just going to go through the stitches in and out like this. And because this side is already attached, it's not going to move around. So once I go across, I fasten it off here. It's going to be pulled like this. But there is one problem. If you do it simply like this, you will see a line here like that. So for this to not show, I will be inserting in the stitch. As you can see, our stitch has some thickness here. Instead of going like this, I will work in the stitch like that. And I'm basically going this way, to straight line. So I'll go in the stitch to the back side. Again, I'm not going to go through like that. I'll go in this stitch. And now I go to the wrong side. And 
and then back in the stitch of the front panel and then directly to the wrong side again and then in the stitch of the back side and then go to the wrong side and then in the next stitch of the front panel I'm gonna pull through here so you can see and this is what it looks like on the wrong side so it's attaching all these stitches and when you pull it it's gonna pull those stitches and therefore pull the ears together I really hope I'm making sense. I didn't learn this from anyone. I just came up with it myself. So I don't know how difficult it is for most people. You can also go across first and then go in the next stitch. That might be easier. So you go like that, go straight back and then in the next stitch like that yeah that's actually easier okay now i'm going to pull this relatively tight i want to make sure they're the same i'm gonna to go to the wrong side first and to fasten this off i'll go in these loops just any loops i will create two loops on top of it so that's one this one and then I'll do it again to like that okay so now I'm going to try to tighten the first loop by pulling the second loop and then I'll pull this thread to tighten the second loop and then you can hide this yarn in the stitches and cut it And then you put this one to the wrong side as well. And then that's it. 